We have to make it to Polis in time for the peace conference. There isn't going to be any peace. Just war. The last war. Now I know the answers to all the questions. Pavel's head proved to be a real treasury of Corbett's sinister plans. Something strange here. Wait. to see.
One and piece. he brought a friend. Wait, is this? Artie, this kid shouldn't be out there without a gas mask. What the fuck? Ah, 
So it is, so it is. A child of the surface, a dark one. No! Don't shoot him, Miller! Get it away from me! No mask. I should have known. This one's green, but that one's yellow. Tell him I'm not a danger. It seems he is adapting well. Yes, that will keep him alive. May I talk to him, Artyom? Colonel Miller, put your fear aside. This child is the future. You need only take its hand. My hands are full enough. I doubt this creature can help us. But you too, you go on without me, before I give in to better judgment and rid the Earth of it. How is this? Oh, oh, I, I can understand his thoughts. And I can hear yours, Artyom. You? Can you hear anyone's thought just by touching them? With Artyom, it's different. We can talk from afar. He was adopted long ago. But do you see, Artyom? The Dark Ones changed you so that they could understand us. What's behind that door? Did you hear? They call you. I can hear. Open this. Wait. That looks like one of the sealed doors in D6. Yes, at the exhibition. It has a strong lock, too. We've yet to break it. What's there? The people. They're inside. Sleeping. Incredible. Look at this. They're hibernating. He is not alone. I must wake them up. It's time for them to leave. We are all going there now. We'll open the door if we can. There's... death. Nearby. All around. But I must wake them. Or be alone forever. Now listen. Help us, and we'll help you. I will. What needs to be done? I must wake them. We'll have to improvise. Hey, hey! Wake, wake up, up, you bastards! <coughs> Colonel, can you open the gate where the gardens line ends at D6? Do you have the code? I have all the codes for D6, but I can't promise a thing. You'll have to. He will help us in police if you do. Take him along then, and brief me on the way. If I'm convinced that he'll help us, I'll open your door. Follow me. He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First, he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Artyom, we already knew of Oktoberska from Khan. And we did confront Moskvin on this, yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told that by sheer luck, yes, their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby. And thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to nip this darkling epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of Metro. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the Subject same. The but Colonel, chamber. it was Lasnitsky. The, the yes, agent who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Artyom. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the it's Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. In We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war, but after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Me. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, 
What difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! Oh, what? Take You've got here. a better idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're sir. done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. Let this work out. to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards, take this man away. Ranger, stand up! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. Comrade Moscovy, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. I overheard one conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers! He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated. He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Maxim, brother. I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. What? It is united. Maximum and silent treatment. What are you looking at me with those honest eyes for? Your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now he's got me by the balls. All because of you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. Even so, <sighs> what? 
What was I? I out loud. Ah, I see. So you gave me something, just like I gave something to brother. Yes, yes. I did. I poisoned him. And Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And he's storming the D6 now. And there's that virus. And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end. But you are the leader! Order him! Call the troops back! Stall them at least! Buy some time to make a deal! There's nothing more we can do here! A spy Hurry! Man. Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! It will be bad for everyone if you lose? Then I will ask for their help. He is gone. He did what he could. And now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. this time. The Red Line's advancing on three sides. My brothers in arms. I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the metro. Each of you is worth five friends. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. Sparta to battle! Sparta! Sparta!
attack you. Check your gear. Shoes tight, zippers up. Get ready, people. Colonel, 
wounded us out of the fire zone and headed to the evac point. Well done. Regroup and get ready. You're going to go at it in any moment now. Yes, sir. by the fires of revolution. 
What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or what remains of you? Hortium, it is time. And who might this be? Ah, the resourceful young man. Tell me, Arthur, savior of the Metro. Where are you going? Artyom, no need for that now. Uman died, like most of the Spartans. Miller survived and is now in charge of police guards, even though he's confined to a wheelchair. And Khan just disappeared. He once told me, what if this little dark one is the last of the angels sent to save us? The fact that the little one came back and brought his kin, maybe that was the pardon and salvation for me, for the Order, for all of us in the Metro. The last light of hope in this kingdom of darkness. It will be better for everyone if we go away, Ordeo. But one day we'll come back. I'll be big then. Goodbye, my friend. The Dark Ones are gone. But I know we will meet again. Maybe... They really were sent to save us. Maybe... We did earn forgiveness. <laughs>